Welcome back to Start Screen Printing. I'm Jesse. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how I mix some warp drive into my ink anytime I get ready to print. So as I mentioned before in other videos, I don't have a conveyor dryer, so I have to mix a curing agent um, into my ink. And because of that, I need to mix ink every time before I print. Now I like to do these in solo cups because once this is done, the ink's no good. Um, it only lasts four to six hours, somewhere in there. Um, and you need to toss it and do some fresh ink. So once I add the warp drive to this ink, um, I'll need to just throw it away. So rather than having to wash out containers over and over, which is what I started doing, I eventually switched to solo cups because I can just toss them. So really just want to mix however much I think I'm going to need and, and a little less even. Um, it's better to mix some more in the middle of a run than it is to have too much and have too much ink waste because um, that costs money. So we're going to, I'm going to need a little more than that. I can tell by looking at it. I'm printing white ink on some t-shirts and hoodies. Not very many, but it's a good fair amount of ink. Um, and it'll be a print flash print, so it'll take a good amount. Okay. So we have 332 grams, 332.2 grams. So I want to add 1.5% of the warp drive. So easy way to do that, take your number, multiply it by 1.015. You get the total that you need to get to. So 332.21 times 1.015. I need to get to 337 grams. Thirty-six. Right there. Three hundred thirty-seven point two four. I was aiming for point one nine. Close enough. And that's it. Now we just mix this up. Make sure it's fully incorporated into all of the ink. And then we are ready the print. And then if I need to do more, I can come do more, but I'm going to have to throw out this ink if I don't use it all in this print. So the goal is to use it, um, but if not, that's okay. All right, that's it. 1.5% of the warp drive um, catalyst to your ink, to your water-based ink, and all I have to do now is to get my print up to, um, I believe it's 260, 270 degrees, somewhere in there. Um, and it will continue to cure. The bottle actually here says heated to at least 250 degrees. So yeah, the 1.5%, uh, the use within four to eight hours and 250 degrees. So when you're printing and with a conveyor dryer or drying without a catalyst, the ink needs to reach a certain temperature for a certain amount of time. But when you're printing with this, it just needs to reach that temperature. Now it's that temperature throughout the layer of ink. So you do a thicker layer. It's gonna, it does need some time to penetrate through that layer. But the key is once this catalyst reaches that 250 degrees, it's activated and it begins to do its job. And so what you have to do then is just, if you deliver your shirts to your customer the next day or same day or whatever, you need to let them know, don't wash these for 48 hours. So this takes 48 hours to fully cure the ink and then they're safe to wash. If they wash prior to that, there's a chance the ink wash out, um, fade, whatever. Um, so you wanna be sure you don't wash um, and let your customers know if you deliver that quick. If it's a couple of days after you print, it doesn't concern them. They don't need to know. So um, if it is soon, then let them know. Just don't wash it for a couple of days. But give this warp drive a try. If you're using Green Galaxy inks um, and using water-based inks, I think you'll find that it works really well. I've been printing with this since 2017 now and using this in every order. And I've not had a single customer come back to me and tell me that their shirts um, faded or the design came off or whatever. Um, I've never had any complaints. And so it's worked well for me using just a flash and this with the water-based ink. So 
give that a shot. Let me know if you have any questions. See you in the next video.